June's an exciting month to plan summer travel, and there's beautiful places for you to see, and some exciting aspects to get you moving. Here's what they mean for your sign. The month begins as Mercury trines Mars and Venus trines Jupiter. Leo, Mercury in your 11th house of associates trines Mars in your 7th house of partners. So reach out to new people and bring your social butterfly. Your energy will impress partners and other important people. At the same time, Venus in your 12th house of limitations brings her inner strength to you and the ability to conquer some of your insecurities. Her trying to Jupiter, your fourth house of foundations, helps you build a sense of inner strength. Center yourself and be more sensitive. The Sun squares Neptune on June 7th. Leo, the Sun in your 11th house of associates, illuminates your social or professional involvements. You can reach out to friends and associates to get projects and people moving in the right direction. However, a square to Neptune in your eighth house can bring some confusion if you're dealing with other people's resources. You must know what is yours and what is not. If someone tries to sell you a sure thing, be very careful. The same warning can be said about intimate issues. Be careful with new people you don't really know. Venus squares Uranus on June 14th. Leo, Venus in the first house of personality <laughs> inspires you to pamper yourself. You may buy some new clothes, go to a salon, or attend a lunch at a trendy new restaurant. It's all about appearances. However, her square to disruptive Uranus in your 10th house of status may shake up the peace and quiet by demanding your attention to professional or social problems. Keep the peace by balancing your time between personal and business responsibilities. Neptune goes retrograde on June 18th. Leo, Neptune is retrograde in your 8th house, and your 8th house rules shared resources and energy. Now, Neptune's always subtle, but now his energy can bring a little confusion if you allow your imagination, your psychic abilities, and your sensuality to get out of hand. You need to listen to your feelings about other people's needs, but you must not allow yourself to be manipulated. The same goes for your actions. You must not manipulate others. This is especially true on the sensual level. <laughs> so reevaluate the depth of your participation and the truth you share with intimate partners. Mars goes retrograde on June 26. Leo, Mars is transiting your seventh house of relationships. Now his energy stimulates your interactions with partners in business or personal affairs. When he goes retrograde, consider the action you have taken in relationships and when dealing with the public. This is not a good time to fight or have a confrontation, so control your actions with partners. Back off for a little while. Be gentle and understanding. And remember that peace creates love and prosperity. These predictions are based on your sun sign. If you'd like more accurate predictions based on your time, date, and place of birth, I would suggest you go to my website, professorastrology.com, to the readings page where you can order a transit chart which will tell you exactly what's coming for you for the next 12 months. I'd like to thank you for watching. I'd like to thank you for listening. I hope you will share these videos with your friends because they're free. <laughs> I hope you have a very good month. Thanks again.